When astronaut Noguchi Soichi feels hungry on the International Space Station, he often chooses ramen. The Japanese manufacturer that invented instant ramen developed a special version for use as space food. Ramen is usually served in broth, which is a problem in zero gravity. Water will only heat to 70 degrees Celsius up in space, so we had to develop noodles that would cook properly at that temperature. Of course, the most difficult thing was finding a way to stop the broth flying everywhere as they eat it. The solution was to thicken the broth so it would cling securely to the noodles and not drift off in the weightless cabin. And to make it easier to eat, the ramen comes in bite-sized portions. Delicious! The first ramen meals were sent into space in 2005. The same makers went on to develop seven varieties of space food. One was in answer to a request from Noguchi for his favorite, yakisoba fried noodles. Japanese food manufacturers have developed a wide range of meals designed for space. To be classified as Japanese space food, these must meet the very strict standards set by JAXA, the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. As well as these commercial offerings, a Japanese high school has also produced its own space food. This is mackerel, canned in a soy sauce broth. Obama in Fukui is a city famous for mackerel. Students here at Wakasa High School have been making canned mackerel as a class project. The school has industrial quality manufacturing equipment for such classes and hygiene management that meets world-class HACCP standards. The students learn the details of HACCP certification from their teacher, Kosaka Yasuyuki. I was telling them how HACCP was originally developed by NASA, and my students came up with this plan to make cans of mackerel that we could send into space. The whole project was their idea. They began their project in 2007. They soon found that it wasn't easy to make food that could be safely sent into space and still taste good. We needed the right balance of stickiness and flavor. Focusing only on making it sticky, we got a taste that wasn't so good. But if we just went for taste, it didn't thicken as much as we needed. After much trial and error, they developed a thick broth that wouldn't float off in zero gravity. For the flavor, they learned that our sense of taste is weaker in space. So they got lots of feedback from astronauts as they experimented with different intensities of seasoning. The students who came up with the idea were highly enthusiastic, but unfortunately couldn't complete the project before they graduated. However, they left detailed research notes for the next class, so the project would continue. In all, it would take 14 years before the school's space food was ready for launch off. Cans of Japanese space food from Wakasa High School have arrived at the space station. Let's see how they taste. Delicious. I'm so happy to complete this project dreamed up years ago by earlier students in this class. Japan is famed for its technical skills and its cuisine, a combination that's making life more enjoyable for the astronauts who circle the Earth today. <laughs>